Did you see him? Where could Mona, Akechi-kun, and he be? We've literally looked everywhere. This is our original reality, right? I believe so, yes. The MetaNav is gone. We don't even have a way to check anymore. At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been out all night too. So let's go to Leblon. Huh? Samire, let's go! Oh, right! I'm home. You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities. But I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Um... Have you seen him at all lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? Do you know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked up since last year. Locked up? What's going on? W what are you guys talking about? Well, I was gonna ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, why don't you all take a seat before I go for his situation? So, he's in juvenile detention? Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? You know, these unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then akechi -kun did it for him instead. But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality, which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki, now it's actually happened? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality, uh, I, I mean, the reality we're in right now, what happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. No Morganas. Did someone say my name? This again! Recycle gags suck! Why do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually, I woke up in Shibuya. Getting all the way back here took some time. Come on, don't scare us like that! Oh, but wait, does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Mona-chan? Well... About him... No, I can't believe Akechi son's really. What the hell? So he was fighting that hard, knowing he was gonna disappear the whole time. So he's incarcerated, and Akechi is. I thought I'd braced myself for the decision we made, but this truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so. I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? Nice. I'm impressed with the idea. Yeah, we won't put up with this injustice. But what can we do to actually help him get out of there? I, I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. So, what you're saying is, we just gotta find that evidence, right? Then we're on the case. 
There's no time for us to waste. We're going to show off what the Phantom Thieves are capable of. One last time. That's right. Let's go. We're going to save our leader no matter what it takes. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho-san. Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. I already told you. There was nothing wrong with his conduct. I was his guardian, so I should know best. Hmm. I bet you're just trying to dig up some dirt. You probably want to pin a crime on him. But I'm not gonna let that happen, you hear me? I'll announce his name as the key figure in the completion of the medicine at the next conference. I've heard that Miwa-chan's progress is going well. Indeed that's true, but... I'm certain that this will help prove his good character in the trials. Please. I want to increase his chances of being found innocent as much as possible. I see. So that's why. You'll cooperate too, right? And so we need to release an official opinion from this school to object his arrest to the police. You'll all agree with me, correct? What good are teachers if they don't believe in their students? Yeah, that's the kid. Also, you guys know someone in public security, right? Won't you introduce me to him? I have to protect him. Using whatever means necessary. I'm begging you. Please, I, I beg of you, please help me collect enough signatures. I, I want to help a friend who's innocent. He's a really good guy. He always fights for the sake of others. He's... he's my best friend! So basically, the reason why we were able to come to our senses is because he saved us. And now he's in a crisis himself. I believe it's our turn to save him this time. But our words alone won't reach anyone. That's why I need Yokota-san and everyone's help. Won't you please protest the police with me? Please! Please tell me if you know of this young man. I need testimonies from people to use in this special article in regards to him. Did he truly look like a boy who would cause an assault here? There's a discrepancy in the other residents' testimonies in the court decision at the time. Please, you have to remember. A certain young man is faced with a dilemma due to the unjust oppression by the government. He is suffering from a crime he did not commit. He is a promising young man who will support this country's future. What justice is there in a country without it being able to save such an individual? This cannot be allowed! Look at the guy ranked number one in these rankings. Isn't his score amazing? I really want to go up against him, but I heard he's been arrested for some crime he didn't commit. But I can't help him out with just myself alone. We need tons more people's voices, like on online forums and getting signatures and stuff. 
have to say with me that it makes no sense that he's been arrested when he's done nothing bad. Please, please help him out. Yes, it's thanks to that young man. I would still be trapped in that awful match-fixing if not for his support. And now, this honest gentleman is locked up in Juvenile Hall, despite being innocent. This time, I wish to be the one to come to his rescue. Please, he doesn't belong in Juvenile Detention at all. I swear I'll make up for the missed practice. Please, let me take just a short break. Uh, Coach? No deal. But... I've got a few connections up my own sleeve that'll probably be more useful than simply doing your own legwork. I'll also try calling around to check if any of my other trainees have some useful info. But if I do this for you, it means you're continuing practice as scheduled, got it? I'm sure it's what he'd want for you, too. Thank you so much, Coach! You escape the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. What a most ironic outcome. Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being. The final arcana you have acquired is the world. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet, swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong and will never trudge a path alone again. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Long time no see. We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, it, never mind, it, it's nothing. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. 
The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. That wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Thank you. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? <laughs> and that's perfectly fine. This isn't an investigation, after all. I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Kept me waiting, jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> It'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. not moving at all. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? It's almost been a whole year since then. Thinking back, I was pretty awful to you. Throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. Then again, soon you're gonna be. Made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, all right? Whoa! You did it! It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. And the best for last, me. So we meet again. It's good to see you. All right, so let's grab a table. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Now we're only missing one last person. She texted me a little while ago that she's finished with practice and heading here. I'm guessing she'll be here any minute now. Sorry I'm late. Senpai! Um, 
Welcome back. All right, that's everyone. Come on, Samire, take a seat. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone, but then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. If we didn't do that at the very least, we'd be betraying the entire reason we stood up to Maruki. We'll oppose the injustices of this reality with our own strength. That's what we all agreed upon. Ever since then, we've been doing just that. Busting our asses trying to get you out of the clink. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. <laughs> right back at ya. They treated you fine, right? Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I've heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, uh, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate! <laughs> I guess you really were hungry. Oh, and that wasn't you? Sorry about that. Oh, it was Sumire. Sojiro will be back soon. Just to hang in there. Oh, yeah! Uh, sorry for not minding my business. But we heard from Boss. You're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. About that, there's something I need to tell you guys. I've decided to go with him when he leaves. He's pretty special after all. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. Leave it to me. Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Oh, how dare you! Sumire, at least you're on my side, right? Uh, me? Then, what say we call this a second round welcoming party? That's the ticket, my re-welcoming party. Nobody can complain about that. So, for the food at my party, I demand sushi! Sushi! Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Hey, I'm not some normal cat. I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No, I would much rather have sushi than something like... Mm -hmm. This is delicious! <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> That's just part and parcel of who I am. The one, the only, Morgana. Stop trying to talk so big. You're just a cat now. Shut up! I don't need to hear that from some dumb ape. What was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. You little... Why don't you go disappear again? <sighs> Shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting! They're at it again. 
You guys never change, do you? Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Don't worry. Being weird is just a sign of your individuality. Uh, you don't need to defend him about that. <laughs> well, anyways, we're all here now. Let's kick this party off! Very well. Sojiro, I want sushi! Seriously. Bed. You're working at the shop from tomorrow onward, right? Right, today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh boy. Good evening. I didn't know you were still working. Sorry for stopping by so late. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. That's considerate of him. I hope I'm not imposing. I know I already saw you before, but I really wanted to have some time with you today. So I thought I'd stop by on the way home from practice. <laughs> Same here. so much I was going to say once I finally got to talk to you, but now that you're here, and I can see your face for myself, none of it seems so important anymore. It's alright. I understand why you did what you did. On another note, I brought you something. It's chocolate, since it's Valentine's Day today. Normally, I'd find that a little melodramatic, but I'm glad to hear it, really. Just checking, but 
we're back in the real world, right? Oh, I wanted to say, Senpai, I... Ever since that day, I've finally been living for myself, as myself, and from now on, I always will. Uh, so, um, may I sit next to you? You're going back to your hometown soon, yes? <laughs> it's sweet of you to ask. But I'm going to keep working hard. Wherever you are, I'll make sure you hear about me. She always said she performed best when thinking about someone she loved. I think I finally understand Kasumi what she was trying to say. When I think about you, I get the feeling the competition's going to go just fine. I think you know what I mean. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. I'm the one who should be thanking you. So, thank you. Well, look at this hotshot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. supposed to give chocolate to the guys they like yesterday? Hey, are you going to be okay? My gentlemanly nature is making me worry about you. Hey, what did you do outside the store? Is that... Whoa. I saw the light on in here last night. Did you think you'd just try and trick this romantically impaired fool? I was worried about you, so I came to check on you yesterday. You could have just said you were busy, even if you had to lie about what you were doing. So you already have a favorite? I came to say hello yesterday, but when I looked in the window, you were with someone else. You dick! Yesterday? Who were you with? <sighs> I got worried yesterday. So I read my own fortune. It said that you're seeing someone else. You seem to be doing well. Did my little guinea pig forget to turn off his lights last night? You're such a problem, child. I left work early yesterday to see how you were, and I saw you with someone else. What the heck am I doing? I got quite the scoop yesterday. A boyfriend caught cheating. I'm not very happy about it, though. You were here with someone else yesterday, weren't you? Are you cheating on me? Please tell me it's not true. Take it. Take my chocolate, please. Before I crush it. And here I came all this way for you. This was for you. Here, take your chocolate. There's no need to be modest. Just take the chocolate. You can eat this, right? It's chocolate. Here, it's chocolate, got it? Here's your chocolate. Hey, kid, say something. Are you making a fool of me? Enough of this irresponsible behavior! You're the scum of the earth! I'm disappointed. 
Are you being serious? You'll pay for this. Stop messing around. So not funny. This is absolutely terrible. Oh, uh, I was just about to go shopping. Take your time. Oh, see you later. If you survive. Cheer up. Here, have this. What a pain, though. I had to come up with this whole web of lies for you. I was having him help out at the store. I didn't realize it was Valentine's Day. Don't worry, he always talks about you. You're his one and only. That was enough to get you off the hook for now. But make sure your story matches mine. Got it? You sure you want me hanging around? I, I can step out for a bit if you like. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. I'm thinking about moving away. Moving? It's just... a hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future. And how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility. Get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, all this is gonna kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. On? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. I've been wondering what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own, starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college. Then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. Mm -hmm. Plus, this isn't a permanent farewell. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but if it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. 
Sumiri left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that a newspaper clipping? Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Maruki's distortion. Would you hold on to this? We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki's gonna give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Aw, oh, yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Uh, uh, huh? Boss, thank you for the generosity. Uh, th that wasn't what I said. Could you at least go easy on me? Everybody <laughs> done! <laughs> Whatever you guys want. Woohoo! Oh, oh, great yeah. cheese! Grab a Are we sushi? lucky? Sushi! Oh yeah, are you ready for tomorrow? <laughs> White day, that's tomorrow, right? You, uh, eh, you had kind of a rough Valentine's Day. So, now you got a chance to redeem yourself. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Hmm, fine. Listen up. Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. And I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. Whoa. The Chief has an ultimate date plan? I better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her. So you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with the right atmosphere, but it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. But it's kinda last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Uh, wait! What?! <sighs> Damn it. I don't usually do this, but... I know a place. <sighs> Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up, too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Chief has connections! So once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. Good, you were paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. That ought to do it. 
Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant chief told you about? Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the chief. You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang, the chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay, your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. Today's the day. Let's go get those flowers. I think there was a florist in that underground passage in Shibuya. I should write something. Hey. Oh, what brings you here today? Okay, leave it to me. That should do it. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, that comes out to... Hold on, let me cover this one. You've been taking care of me yourself, so I need to express appreciation for you, too. Good luck! I'm rooting for you! Okay, now you're all ready for the date. You know who you plan on inviting, right? Don't worry, I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. I won't be tagging along. All right, good luck out there. Yes, Yoshizawa speaking. Crazy, right? Right now? Of course, that's fine. I don't have practice today, so I'll head over right away. See you there. many different kinds of fish. I'd never have realized just seeing them from a distance. They're all so beautiful. Come to think of it, I remember we had a family trip to an aquarium when I was younger. Kasumi was so excited to see the fish, but apparently I was so scared I cried the whole time. Oh, I'm having fun now. Hmm. Um, senpai? If I'm wrong, you can just tell me, but is this a date for White Day? I knew it! I'm so glad I got to spend it with you, Senpai. Since we're on a nice date like this, though, we might as well have fun. Oh, wait! I think this is the end of the exhibit. Thank you for taking me out today. I'll be even more motivated for tomorrow's practice. What? Well, I suppose I'll take you up on that. This restaurant is beautiful. I'm impressed, Senpai. Of 
course! Oh, right. Inside voices. Sorry about that. Love is so strange. I feel so happy when I'm with my boyfriend, but even tiny failures get me so depressed. As long as I've got you, though, I feel like I can get through anything. <sighs> Senpai, I'm glad we're on the same level. Um, so to speak. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. Huh? Looks like something's happening. Oh, it's gorgeous! What? Thank you! So much! I never saw this coming, but I'm so, so happy! I've never been surprised like this! I keep falling in love with you all over again! I guess you put a lot of effort into this date, but I shouldn't have expected anything less, Senpai. You take care of everybody, and you always put their happiness before anything else. But I don't want this to be one-sided. One day, I want to take care of you like you do for me. Though, I guess that might not be for a while. Thank you. It'll definitely happen eventually, so please be patient. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about it. Um, we still have some time left tonight, so... Can I stay with you just a little longer? Hey. Finally ticking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Off you go then. Try not to cry! <laughs> Let's do it.